The width and depth of the pelvis will vary with stature and gender. The female pelvis is shaped for childbearing and delivery, and as a result it is wider and shallower, and the inlet is larger and more oval shaped than that of the male. Because there is such a great variation between male and female pelvises, and the stature of each patient, there are several bony landmarks that we use in radiography to determine the areas within the pelvis and the hips. The iliac crest, the as-is, the pubic symphysis, and the greater trochanter of the femur are the most prominent points and easily most palpatable, even in the largest patients. Because of the heavy muscles immediately above the iliac crest, care must be exercised in locating this structure to avoid centering errors. Sometimes, having the patient inhale deeply is advisable. While the muscles are relaxed during expiration, the radiographer should palpate for the highest point of the iliac crest. The greater trochanter can be palpated and is most prominently lateral and more easily palpated when the lower leg is medially rotated. The pubic symphysis can be palpated on the mid-sagittal plane and on the same horizontal plane as the greater trochanter. By placing the fingertips at this location and performing a brief downward palpation with the flat hand and palm down and the fingers together, the radiographer can locate the superior margin of the pubic symphysis. To avoid possible embarrassment or misunderstanding, the radiographer should advise the patient in advance that this and other palpations of the pelvic landmarks are part of the normal procedure and these are necessary for accurate examination. When performed in an efficient and professional manner with respect for the patient's condition, such palpations are generally well tolerated. The hip joint can be located by palpating the as-is and the superior margin of the pubic symphysis. The midpoint of a line drawn between these two points is directly above the center of the dome of the acetabular cavity. A line drawn at right angles to this point of the first lines lies parallel to the long axis of the femoral neck of an average adult patient. The femoral head lies one and a half inches distal to this point. It is at this point that the central ray will be directed for your AP hip. The method used to determine this point in this particular image, the radiographer has his left thumb on the as-is and a second finger is on the superior margin of the pubic symphysis. Notice where the x-ray beam aligns with those two points.